top of the morning, top of the top morning, top of the 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 morning. Woke up today. It's getting cold out here, y'all. It's a little chilly for our LA morning. Fall season is here. Safe to say. So, what we got on the menu today? I'm gonna be showing y'all how to increase your pull-ups, how to get better at pull-ups, how to engage your back on various exercises like rows, pull-downs, things like that. Give y'all some technique tips. We give y'all some progressions on how to increase your pull-ups, how to get stronger. Um, so stay tuned. We're gonna get straight to it, y'all. About to go get a little espresso, a little pick me up. Got my banana. Stay tuned, y'all. Y'all gonna wanna take some notes and implement this into y'all training sessions. I guarantee it's gonna be some gems, all right? So let's tap in. So we are going to move into some assisted pull-up scapular retractions. This is going to be a staple for the rest of your life. So you want to make sure that you master this. So this is pretty much retracting your shoulder blades back. You want to be able to do this whether you're doing pull-ups, you're doing rows. Um, this is something that's going to help you engage your back and overall strengthen your posterior chain. So this is just retracting at the shoulder blades. We're moving into close grip assisted pull-ups. All right, so we're warming up, or if you're a beginner, this is a great way to build your upper body strength into doing a pull-up, but this is just a warm-up um, to really just uh, warm up our back and start getting us, well, our ligaments and our joints and our muscles warmed up for a more heavier, gruesome pull day. So with these assisted pull-ups, they are weird at first, but you wanna make sure that your feet are directly under you and you're allowing your legs to help help you up a bit but you don't want to allow your legs to help you too much like you still want to act like you're pulling up but your legs are just there for some support all right so disconnect your mind to your feet but also allow your feet to kind of help you up but you want to be dead hanging then we're going to move into some australian row progressions all right so as you move your body more horizontal and you step forward it's going to get harder and harder and as you lower the bar and you allow your body to become horizontal to the ground it's going to get harder all right you also want to make sure that you are squeezing your glutes and tucking your hips up so you saw before that was the wrong progression i mean that's the wrong form you don't want your butt to be sunken in you want your hips to be raised you want your glutes to be being squeezed and you want to be pulling your chest up to the bar and rowing rather than letting your butt sink all right now i'm going to be breaking it down to you the right versus the wrong way to australian row all right in a few different concepts all right so at first you want to make sure that you are engaging your glutes and your hips so you're bringing your hips up so you're going to immediately do this your first time doing it but you just want to make sure that you're remembering to tuck your pelvis lift your glutes and then you're also retracting your scapula and your shoulder blades as you row so this is when we're talking about scapula retraction again so we're here we're just dead hanging from a horizontal row and we're just working on that scapular retraction all right so this is his first time doing it right he does what everyone does he's not really engaging the glutes pulling with mostly biceps all right so then you want to make sure that you're lifting your glutes right and that you're squeezing your your scapula and your rowing all right moving the bar down into a deeper row so again this looks a lot better right he's building up his strength he's not necessarily with his scapula retracted right now but his glutes are being raised and he's engaging his back as much as he can he just got done doing a few sets now we're moving into band assisted pull-ups so we're going to be setting up the band by throwing it over the bar and then uh intertwining it one other under another 
You want to use a stool or a bench, something safe to allow yourself to put your foot into the band. And then you're going to strap your back foot over the band, point your toe down and begin your set. You want to work with a easier band, so a heavier band to start with. And then you're going to move to a lighter band. You want to challenge yourself to get to like eight to 10 reps that are really hard for you. So here we're doing pull up holds where you just go to the bar, you just hold it as long as you can and then you control the negative down. So this is a really good way to build your pull up strength by working the negative, by working the holds. This is gonna help your grip strength. This is going to help your back strength. If you need some gloves or you want some gloves, definitely grab some, they help out a lot. But if not, definitely having that natural grip is important. So again, I'm going with the assisted pull ups here having my foot strapped over the other foot and pointing your toe down to make sure that the band is locked in. You have to make sure the band is locked in so that you don't fling yourself in the face. All right, pull up holds. Again, we're working on the negatives and we're working on the pause at the top. So you're gonna start at the top and you're gonna just control the negative down, right? And you wanna go for like good three to four reps, all right? Because this is time under tension rather than high reps. So your muscles under that tension, it's gonna be really hard, but you're gonna get better. It's gonna help your pull ups drastically all right so work on these and you can tuck those knees up to work at that core at the same time two and one two and one special all right All right, so there are two types of pull-up variations. You got pull-ups versus chin-ups, and you have wide grip versus close grip. All right, we're gonna be going over all of these right now. All right, so we're gonna start off with wide grip further than shoulder width apart. You wanna make sure you're pulling your chest up to the bar. All right, then we're gonna switch up the grip, close grip, closer than shoulder width apart. This is gonna target mostly outer biceps and lats. All right, both of these are very important. I suggest doing them all. Chin-ups, your palms are facing towards you. This is gonna be mostly biceps with some back, but not as focused on your back as overhand pull-ups. And then we've got wide grip chin-ups, which are really difficult. Um, I would only suggest this if you are intermediate or advanced. Then we're gonna get into band-assisted pull-ups part two. So again, you're gonna intertwine the band one through another. You're going to set up a squat rack and use the uh, safety racks to actually step up on. Then you're gonna put your foot into the hole, cross your back foot over the band so that it's locked in point your toe down and again you want to pull your chest up to the bar you want to make sure your scapula is retracted you're squeezing your shoulder blades and then you're pulling the chest up to the bar then we're going to switch up the grip we're going to hit some of that close grip assisted chin ups all right so make sure that you are practicing different variations of pull-ups you don't want to just get used to one and then also work in those pauses and the negatives and then at the top of the set you can add weight for my advanced people if you just want to get stronger I highly suggest challenging yourself and adding weight. You can do this by yourself as you saw that I did. I stacked two dumbbells up on top of each other and then I uh, just grab it with my feet and I grab it in between my ankles. You will want to get some of these bands. Um, if you want to, I mean, these bands are just really versatile. You can use them for assisted pull-ups. You can use them for at-home workouts. You can use them for stretching. You can use them for so many different things. So I highly recommend getting some. Um, High quality ones, they, they do snap sometimes if you put like a lot of pressure and you use them really wide, but for the most part, they're super solid. Um, so yeah, check out the link in the bio. I'll put this in the, uh, in the description. And they're really, they really come in handy, so highly recommend. I hope you all enjoyed that workout, man. It's gonna be a lot of information. You can use all of these exercises to overall build your back strength, build your, your bicep strength, because when you're doing pulls, when you're doing rows, it's engaging your back and your biceps, all right? So that's why you do back and bys on the same day because as you're rowing, as you're pulling, you're using those muscles. So, you know, you wanna start off with the progressions that I've listed in terms of easiest to hardest um, and go at your own pace, you know, but definitely make sure you challenge yourself. If, you're been, if you've been using the same resistance band for the past couple weeks, you wanna definitely challenge yourself each time to use a resistance band that's lighter or if you've been doing negative and pull up holds, you know, you definitely wanna make sure that you're maxing out what you can do with your body weight before you start doing the assisted 
reps, right? You wanna get the hardest stuff out of, out of the way while you're fresh and then drop set into the easier stuff to really burn your muscles out, all right? So um, something that I'm doing right after this workout is I just stop by the park and I'm gonna read a bit. Um, it's, it's super important that you not only strengthen your body and you train your body, but you train your mind as well. So I'm reading Happy Pocket Full of Money, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I'm talking about this now, but I'll, I'll definitely be making some, some more content along this book because it's such a powerful book that talks about law of attraction, um, wealth consciousness, and just um, overall the meta, mes, metaphysical world, break, breaking it down into you know science and practical uses, pract practical ways that you can implement it into your life. So I highly recommend it, man. Um, and yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed that. Make sure you like, subscribe, show some love.